Hey guys, so welcome to the first episode of ESO Greymore. I am so excited for this pack. All the spookiness, black reach, really excited to get into it. Of course, I am a little bit late because I was waiting around on my physical collector's edition to get here and it's so beautiful. I did an unboxing of that if you didn't see it. And of course, I always gotta find time to record and then who knows when I'm actually gonna have this edited enough. Gonna try as fast as I can, but sorry for being late. And of course the prologue came out whenever I was taking my little break. So I haven't played that yet. But I haven't played the prologue for Morrowind or anything like that, so we're just gonna do it. Well, do Greymore, not the prologue. Unless if y'all want me to do the prologue, I guess I could. It wouldn't be in complete order, but I could still do it. But let's just go ahead and jump into this because I have been wanting to play this for so long. So I just checked. I haven't played ESO, at least on the channel, since December. Your girl was going through some burnout, okay? I'm really excited to get back into it now though. They have changed the backgrounds for all characters, uh, regardless of what faction you're in, it's all the same. Which I do like it more than the old Ebonheart background. I didn't like that it was just snow whenever I was a dark elf. Of course, now this is just very Skyrim-y, but I, I like it, I do like it. I did like the Dominion one a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> and real quick, before we get completely into it, there was a cutscene. It didn't play just now. I had already watched it whenever I had unboxed all of that because I wanted to show Ryder all of the stuff that we got in the collector's edition. So I have already looked at all of that. I have seen the cutscene, but YouTube is a little bit picky about that sort of thing, so... Not gonna include it in this one. I do apologize, but you might be able to find it like standalone somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, it actually is the 1st of June whenever I'm recording this. So we get a look at the new login rewards. We do get a spooky hat, but beyond that, not a whole lot. <laughs> ah, I was a little bit curious about this because um, the collector's edition was supposed to come with 30 days of free ESO plus. Well, not free because you technically paid a lot for it, but. I noticed when I got on to look at everything I had, it was not currently active, but now it is, so that's good. Yes, it just took it a minute, which is fine. Ah, oh, we're actually in our house. I've missed this so much. I'm sorry, I, I hope everything's set up right. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played ESO. I guess we will just go to the Way Shrine and go to Skyrim. I feel like it probably would have been better if we did the prologue first, but... I don't know, I said I was gonna talk about everything in like the next Morrowind or Skyrim, maybe even Skyrimfall episode. I feel like the first episode of Greymoor is not the place, so... We're gonna focus on the game this time, my friends. Now that my 30 years of blathering is finally over. <laughs> okay, so here we have it, Western Skyrim. And I assume we're just going to go to the Solitude Docks, see what happens. I think that would be the best place to try and start this, <laughs> given it's the only place we really can. Okay, guys, here we are. Look at the windmill already, the little fort. And of course there is Solitude. I'm really bad about this in the first episode of things. I'm going to be looking around and appreciating this so much, but I really hope you guys will appreciate it with me because I'm also just gonna, you know, take some screenshots. Why not? If I can get over this fence, I can't, that's okay. I forgot where all of my, okay, that that's that. Print screen, I think that's right. There we go. Look at me remembering things. Oh, in the marshes, <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, but we do have our first quest over here from Bar Br Brondold. Friend. Oh, we get the I joy of me it. mispronouncing all of the names again. What's the matter with you, Brondold? Um, there's no time. Take this. Keep it safe. Wait, what are you giving me? Information. The Ice Reach Coven at work in the West. I just need more proof. Go! They're coming! Who's coming? The ones who attacked you? Don't trust them. Only Lyris. She's... Hold on. You there. And, and he's what dead. Goodbye. What did that fugitive tell you? Uh. Who are you? Another spy? What did this lying Easterner say to you? I was just going about my business when I saw that he was injured. Assisting a fugitive is a crime in Hafingar Holt. Unless you want to find out how we deal with traitors and spies, tell me what he said to you. All right, we have we have the option to lie here, and I I don't like the look of this guy. He looks like a real wad, so we're just gonna lie. He died before he could say anything. Lucky for you. If he had told you any seditious lies and you decided to keep them from us, you'd have been in real trouble. I hear you. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators or strangers. And mark my words, 
You'd rather not get on the wrong side of the High King's guard. I will stick my nose wherever I want to, guy. Go get on. out of here. Do you Just even know who I am? Look how I shiny I am. That's how you know I'm important. Let's uh, look at those papers. <laughs> a scrap of paper with hurried writing scrolled in a shaky hand sits on top of the pile. Okay, okay if, you could, if you could move directions. <laughs> Brondold, the guards came asking about you. They were rattling their scabbards at anyone they could find. I'm scared. I hid your horse in the woods. I'll wait in the barn by the stables outside the city, but only for one more day. An official looking form with an annotation. Declaration of customs. Port of departure, Sentinel. Port of arrival, Solitude. Cargo offloaded, three barrels, Oasis water, four crates, Scaven housewares, five crates, Thorstad pottery, one crate, Sentinel canteens. Saw a crew member surreptitiously. We're gonna ignore that. Marking several crates on the docks. Hidden compartments? Couldn't get a look inside. A small, tightly folded note tucked in between the sheets. Left a surprise for you. Follow the, di the directions. Where stones stand south of the lonely docks, in the shadow of their shelter, where the living trees keep watch. Alright. I think just based on actual Skyrim, I kind of know what that's talking about. I think. Maybe. Okay, so we have three things we need to do now. Meet Brondold's contact, search a marked crate, and follow the cryptic directions. Right. Well, I guess uh, we'll go over here, then work our way around, I guess. Oh, look at the stables. Well, I guess it's a full-on farm, but you know what I mean. Speaking of which, can I upgrade my horse here? You would think so, but I don't see anyone to talk to. Are you who we're looking Stay for? Back. I'll do it. I'll stab you. It seems to be. Uh, hi. Please don't stab me. I mean it. One step closer, and I'll stick you like a hawker. I'm not here to hurt you. I need to talk to you about Brondold. I don't know any Brondold. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You make me stab you, and it's my word against yours. <laughs> she talks very strangely. You make me stab you. Brondold's dead. He left me with a handful of papers and a lot of questions. Dead? Stone's mercy. And I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any trouble. I'll disappear. I don't even like it here. You'll never see me again. This is very sketchy. I didn't kill Brondold. Just tell me what this is all about. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He'd come by now and then with a sweet roll and a few coins for my trouble. He was... Nice. And did you see anything out of the ordinary? The last time we spoke, it was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing. Trying to blend in, but still off around the edges. Same with their horses. Sheared mountain mares. Come from the reach, I wager. I feel like I'd be a whole lot less confused if I, um, actually played through the prologue, but... Oh. Okay, well then I guess next we will search that crate. Man, I have taken this path a million times. <laughs> they even got the big bridge right there. There it is. Of course they would, but you know, I'm excited about it nonetheless. Once again, <laughs> as it goes with ESO, everything is very big. Like these dogs, a lot bigger. Perhaps everyone was just a lot smaller back then. <laughs> Ooh, we also have a side quest on there, but we're, we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna stick to the main quest until we finish it, and then if you guys want to see side quests, we will do it. Oh, that's not good. What is that? You mind telling me? I don't know. Well, I'll ignore it for now. I'm gonna assume that's kind of like this uh, expansion's version of a dolmen. Can only assume, but here's that marked crate. Ash-covered fragments. Fragments of pottery. Goodbye. Possibly urns litter the bottom of a hidden compartment beneath packing hay. A strange ash or dust covers the fragments. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll be taking that. And then it looks like the area we're going is over there. Maybe not quite that far away. I guess we'll do what that guy did and just jump in. A chub loon! Oh, it's beautiful! Come back! Look at him go! I love him. I want one of those as a pet. Yeah, I'm thinking it's just these stones over here. That that's a spriggan. Let's let's avoid that for now. Especially given as how it's been so long. I don't necessarily remember what all my moves do. 
Oh, of course there's one right there, though. Okay, well, you know, we might as well figure it out. There's, there's my chain. Yeah, we do most of our damage with that one. Let's just get all the shields up and whack. Just a little spriggan, so... We're all good. I apologize if I'm a little bit rusty for the beginning of the series. There's a letter to Lyris tucked between the covers. Lyris, if you're reading this, I never made it to our meeting at the Blue Palace. I'm likely either dead or in the dungeon, but I was able to send word your way. I don't have solid proof that this Ice Reach coven you're hunting is in Hoffinger Hold, but something's rotten in the capital city of Solitude. I know I'm on the right trail. Unfortunately, it seems they know it too. I wish I had more information for you. I'm sorry. Bring what I found to Queen Gerald. 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 Maybe. She's more level-headed than the High King. Without her influence, I doubt you'll even be allowed to see High King Svargrim. <laughs> the name's Brondled. The journal itself reads as follows. This assignment is going to be more challenging than I anticipated. Locals are suspicious of strangers. Guards always seem to be watching. Even in a city of the size of Solitude, even among Nords, I stick out like a sore thumb. Made one contact at the royal stables. Young woman named Coven. Starry-eyed. Naive. Told her to keep watch for unusual travelers. No one else is talking. I'm going to settle into a routine. Get people used to seeing me around. Everything passes through the lonely troll at some point. It's the best place in the city to talk about the locals and learn about what's going on. There's an orc that frequents the establishment. Goes by the name of Ma. He seems willing to talk, as long as you keep his mug filled. If anyone knows something about the Ice Reach Coven, I'm sure to find them in a lonely troll. Any trust I build up with the locals evaporated at the mere mention of witches. <laughs> I guess getting attacked by a safer cat. Please keep it away from me, thanks! Won't say a word about them unless you count prayers to the gods. I guess they take dark magic more seriously this close to the Reach, but they'd rather shut their ears to it than court misfortune. Corvin came through for me, said some rugged types arrived on mountain mares, trying a little too hard to not be noticed. They put up postings all around town, recruiting for something. Sharp girl. Whew, a little bit long, but that's okay. I, I want to get a good feel for the setting and what's going on, because... I really should have done the prologue, I'm so sorry. A recruitment flyer is stuffed in between the pages. Laborers and craft workers needed. Brave folk sought to di for distant and dangerous work in uncharted territory beyond the Druidoc Mountains. Travel mandatory. Food and lodging, lodging provided. A year-long commitment required with rewards to match the risks. Inquire at the lonely troll inn in solitude. Something's trying to attack me. Okay, we're real quick. There you go. There's the rest of it. I think I need to fight now. Why? That was a terrible placing of things, may I just say. Ugh, thanks, guy, but now it's gone. I guess we're gonna go talk to Lyris now. I assume the prologue had a lot to do with her, so... Yeah. Yeah, I should probably do it. <laughs> it seems like I've missed some important stuff. I need to continue with my playthrough that I was doing in my free time of just playing through everything in order. I assume we're actually going to need to go up to Solitude for this. But uh, yeah, I realized with Morrowind I never played the prologue or anything, but Morrowind's about the time I actually started getting into ESO, so. It's like I had it before then, but mostly just wandered around and explored. But whenever Morrowind came out, I actually put in the effort of learning how to play the game and uh, started enjoying it a whole lot more. Now then, does it want me to go through the main gates with the little side opening? I kind of want to go through the main gates if I can. Yes, there it is. I think I'm going to take more screenshots. <laughs> Back to the usual business, you know? <laughs> Solitude discovered. Yay! All right, so we got a few little, like, forts set up out here. Well, tents, I guess. Ah, that's where you can upgrade your horse, okay. Don't know why they didn't do it over there, too, but I guess that's okay. It, uh, makes more sense for the actual city's stable to be, like, around here, rather than just some random person's farm. <laughs> All right, we're going in. All right, here we are. There's the inn, um... <laughs> There's where we got to watch the beheading. Great times, great memories. <laughs> and it looks like we need to go somewhat through the town. Oh, Proudspire Manor, you can own Proudspire Manor? Okay, so fun fact, one of the first things I did whenever Skyrim first came out was I looked at all the houses you could get because I was super into that with Oblivion. Um, I saw Proudspire Manor, wanted it really bad. <laughs> and tried to make as much money as I could so that I could own Proudspire Manor. So I would actually love to get that. I wonder if that's one of the houses you just buy or if it has something to do with the quest line. I see there's a quest right there about it, but I would I would like to look at it. We could even look at the inside if we wanted to. 
I might as well preview it. Why not? Like I started living in Lakeview Manor eventually, as you well know, but this is still my character Adamo's house. This is where he lives and look at that. It's so beautiful. Let's take a look at the upstairs. They did really well with this. Like it's pretty precise. They don't have the kids room right there, but of course that's something you add on in Skyrim. So that's perfectly fine. And let's have a look at the downstairs as well. Lots of stairs in this place. That would be miserable to live in. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I like that fireplace there. I definitely want to try to get this. Um, of course, it's not Oz's canon house. He does live in Old Velothi, which is my current house and everything. But, you know, I play as Adamo too. I can have those house if I want it. Oh, see, like, this is so nice. Oh, I like the little laundry there. And you can see in the Bard's College over there. I love it. Yeah, I need to figure out how to get that at some point because I am probably gonna try. I did see purchase options down there, so I assume it is one you just purchase. I should have looked at that while I was in there, but I am rusty. I'm sorry. But that's not the main point of this episode. <laughs> we got more to do. All right, let's go back to trying to find Lyris. Lyris, Lyris. I feel like I always pronounced it Lyris. That guy pronounced it Lyris earlier, I think. I'm probably going to be going back and forth between both, so I apologize. But I assume she's somewhere around the Blue Palace? Yeah, yeah, okay. Ooh, look at the Blue Palace. This is beautiful. So cool. But here she is. Let's talk with you. Vestige? You're a sight for sore eyes. Feels like it's been ages since, well, you know. I'd invite you for a drink, but I'm about to present myself to royalty just as soon as my contact arrives. I'm, uh, assuming this is different if you do the prologue? I assume she's in the prologue. I've got no clue. Ugh, I'm sorry. Brundled isn't coming. He's dead. He's what? Damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Gerhild, Look, there the Highness go. is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact or this will go very badly. What's this all about? We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. Follow your lead with what? I am just being dragged along right now, man. There is Titanborn. Your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No. But I assure you, my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. Yeah, okay, sure. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? Azatha Sedrin, your majesty. The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you, but I will hear you out. I have witnessed some concerning things since I arrived here, your majesty. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svagrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. There's evidence of Reachman activity around Solitude. Reachman transgressions will not be enough for Svagrim to accept outside help. He's a prideful man, and the bad blood between him and Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf, but you and Lyris will need to bring me proof he cannot ignore. We'll find that proof, Your Majesty. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Joran and not necessarily in one piece. Why is there bad blood between High King Svargrim and Joran the S Skald King? The names, I'm so sorry. I'm like trying so hard to not slip up on them and then I do anyway. Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Joran's ambitions for the Ruby Throne, however, have created a new level of tension. Forming alliances and raising armies for conquest should we not be wary of such a man? Svargrim thinks Joran wants to take over his kingdom? Frankly, yes. He believes Joran hasn't marched here with an army as yet, because the Western Holds are firmly united against Pact rule. 
My husband is certain Joran plots to erode those allegiances. Was I saying Joran? I better not have been. I know that's Joran. The High King's trust. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's good enough talking with you. Um, you handled that better than I expected. Thanks. Now, what in Mara's name happened to Brondold? He was fleeing pursuit and gave me a bundle of papers before he died. Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Brondold was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Skald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Here's everything I found. Hmm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Brondold thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? What do you need me to do? Brondold mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. All right. I'm excited to explore the city some more. <laughs> I feel like such a tourist right now. I'm just sightseeing. I'm not the first what Nord from the East to receive oh. a chilly reception at the Blue Palace. Doubt I'll be the last. I see. So many side quests too. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, and there's the whole antiquities thing. I kind of forgot about that, and I still hardly have any idea what that's about. So we definitely need to try to get into that at some point. Bard's College. Hard to imagine the Scald King Look spent his youth studying verse in this stodgy old kingdom. <laughs> oh my god, the freaking moons, man. <sighs> what am I telling you? I'm just a sightseer. Here's Grega in the back alleys. Oh my god. <laughs> Lyris, you scared me. Personal space, come on. But okay, let's talk with Grega. Hey, 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 hey. Don't step on the dice. There a reason you're interrupting our game, orc face? Brondold said you might know something about the smuggled goods from Sentinel. Don't know any Brondold. Don't know you. Either way, I got nothing to tell you. Get lost. I'm on a winning streak. Brondold's dead because of what's in those crates. They'll come for you too. Dead? That's a new one. Nothing Kasala usually moves through port is worth killing over. You didn't hear it from me, but she's the one picking up those shipments. Her warehouse is down on the docks. You want to know more? Go ask her. Yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah! Still very confused about that peculiar bottle, but we're gonna leave it alone for now. Let's go to the Lonely Troll, which I can only assume is the earlier version of the Winking Skeever. Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit. Stony and cheerless. <laughs> Maybe the new tower will liven up the place. Oh, I love the auroras. This is so beautiful. And there's the little market and the well. Oh my god. And yep, not to my surprise, we are right. <laughs> you must be Mog. I have questions. Questions? <laughs> Happy to oblige. Buy a few rounds and let's chat. You're going to answer me, Orc, or... Threatening. Hey! Nobody intimidates my friends. Princess Vanna. Oh. Okay. Guess I'm talking Who to you now. Who gave you the right <laughs> to walk in here and bully my friend? Did my father send you? Why would your father send someone to bully Mog? Because he doesn't like Mog. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess, and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a scoundrel. If my father didn't send you, why are you threatening my friend? We wanted to ask if he saw the people putting up the job postings. Smelly bastards. Cheap, too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left without saying a word. Then, a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. He was a charmer, though. You remember anything else about this charmer? <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe. I didn't really listen to what he was saying. A half dozen workers left with him. Off to the Drudok Mountains or someplace. He hasn't been back since. Thank you, your highness. Let's talk outside, partner. Okay. Interesting princess. <laughs> so we've got a mysterious Breton, possibly working with Reachmen, recruiting workers for some unknown purpose. Plus, there's a smuggler hiding unknown contraband in a warehouse down by the docks. I say we deal with the smuggler first. Why the smuggler? We know where to find her, and we more or less know what she's up to. And if the two are connected, maybe the smuggler can help us narrow our search for the Breton. Ready to visit Casella's warehouse? I'm ready. Let's head down there. That'll probably be the last thing we'll have time for, but we shall see. Now, you know, why Why am I running? I have I've got my little spider friend. Though I do slightly remember that making my webcam lag, but right now it looks like it is okay. Oh my god, I got stuck. Ugh. I have gotten a new graphics card since, like, 
November, so hopefully that uh, helps a little bit. I don't know. I know the webcam likes to be a little bit glitchy That's and weird in this wearing. series. Only one century. Let's try not to Time cause a scene. Just needs yeah. Your help. Are Private everywhere. property. Get lost. Wait. I have a giant? Is that Lyris Titanborn? You know Lyris? Blood and Blade. Everyone knows Lyris Titanborn. What a woman. She's even larger than I imagined. No wonder she fought Swordmaster Sai Sahan to a draw. Wait, is he here too? You simping, bro? No, just us. We need to see Kasala. Until Kasala returns, I'd be happy to keep fair Lyris company in her stead. Okay, perhaps we can wait inside. Alas, Kasala doesn't allow visitors when she isn't here to conduct business. But we can wait out here. Do you think Lyris would autograph my ancestral scabbard? Would mean so much to my son. When I have one. Do you know if Lyris is betrothed? Bruh. <laughs> I'm not sure, but if you get your scabbard, she'd be happy to autograph it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you do that. I what you said I'll to just, him, but this um, is our chance. Try I don't the luck. know if I really need to sneak, but been a little bit since I've done this, but we have plenty of time. We should be good. Okay, I guess I don't need to sneak. It looks like we're fine. Marked crate number one. Let's see. What's see. In those marked Ancient crates. urn. I'll watch the door. Ash and bones. Great. More weird urns. And reach ritual fetishes. Great. Rawhide, rough on wood, stone, and bones. All carved with ritualistic symbols common to the reach. Uh huh. Oh. Our shipments would return. Brought muscle this time, I see. More than you. Care to try me? I'll pass. I just want to know who's been meddling in my business. Right. <laughs> I had a feeling it wasn't just an opportunistic thief trying to steal my cargo. What are you after? Proof of a plot against the High King. Care to explain what's in these crates? A plot against the High King? Involving plundered antiquities from Hammerfell? Preposterous. I'm simply facilitating a transaction between treasure hunters and a rich collector. So, who am I paying the bribe to? You or the High King? What about these reach fetishes? Give me that! Tribal crafts my arse. I told that son of a skeever I don't deal in arcane goods. Especially ones from the reach. Nothing but sorrow comes from such business. This isn't cursed, is it? Who hired you to smuggle this? No name. Just instructions and gold. Shipments come in, I make sure no one looks too closely and wait for a pickup. Never see the same face twice. Last time it was a smooth talk in Breton with Nord laborers in tow. You want more? I need assurances. I'm sure we can work something out. They're taking the cargo to an abandoned lodge in the foothills north of Solitude. Occasionally used it myself when the city guard was being thorough. Want to catch them? Start there. If that's all, we're leaving. I'm not losing my head over this. Okay, can you tell me anything about this Breton and the laborers? The Breton was sly. Handsome, even. Thought he could charm me into taking on additional shipments. Now that I know what's involved, the trouble isn't worth it. The Nords were local, hired hands from the Lonely Troll. Right. I would ask you more, but kind of assume you just don't. <laughs> Rondald had good instincts. We're definitely onto something. Our mystery buyer is hiring locals to haul these urns and reach fetishes out of the city. But for what purpose? Uh, I don't... I don't remember seeing a witch perform at a barrow. I think I missed that one. Maybe I'm just forgetting. I assume that's from the prologue. But I haven't done that, so I don't know how, why I have the option to ask it. Some sort of ritual, maybe? Without a doubt. The coven's attack on Yorin involved a ritual. Why hire locals, though? Seems like an unnecessary risk. And how does the Breton figure in? I suppose using different people draws less attention. Something doesn't feel right. Should we check out that abandoned lodge? No reason not to. Head there while I circle around from the other direction in case they're already on the move. Just be careful. I'd rather not lose another partner before we actually figure out what we're up against. I'll see you at the lodge. Okay, so I, I assume Hiking Yorin got attacked too. I do think that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end this. I really do feel like I probably should go ahead and play through the prologue. Let me know if you want to see it. I feel like that would help with the confusion a little bit, but I feel like I'm just generally confused anyways because I haven't played ESO in six months. 
But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.